Spin buttons are a great way to speed up data entry into your spreadsheets. And in this video series, we're going to look at how to create spin buttons and how to achieve that really nice data input just by clicking at the button. But we're also going to look at how to create multiple buttons because if your spreadsheet has lots of rows, you want to create lots of buttons, you don't want to do all of that manually. So we're going to look at how to use VBA to create multiple buttons. But before we get into the video, just a word about how I came up with this topic. Thank you to Michelle from Pennsylvania, who's a viewer of the channel. Uh, last week, I put up a video saying, give me some video ideas. She sent me in uh, this idea for spin buttons. So thank you to Michelle, uh, this one's for you. And if you have an idea for a video series and you can send me an Excel file, because I like to base the series on real life examples. If you can send me your Excel file, I may be able to do a video series about it. So with that said, let's get into the topic, which is spin buttons. And in this first video, we're going to cover how to create a spin button and how to get it doing what you want it to do, because we have to tell the button uh, which cell to link to and um, which cell it should uh, change the value of. So let's get into that. I've got the example uh, file here. You can download it from the website. And just to give you a sense of what we're after, I've got a spin button in here. And keep your eye on cell D4. And I'm just gonna click the button and you can see uh, the value in the cell changes. So that's much better than double clicking on the cell and manually editing the cell. Although we can do that using a spin button really fast uh, data input. You'll also, also notice that the other cells update, that's because the other cells contain formulae uh, that are dependent on this input cell. So that's the effects uh, that we're looking for using the spin button. How do we go about creating uh, the spin button? Well, I'm gonna delete this one and start again. So to get a spin button, go to the uh, developer tab up at the top here, and then insert and spin button in the form controls uh, just here and you can see spin button has flashed up there so click on the um, spin button you can see the cursor is now a black cross we can see that and that is excel saying i'm ready to create a spin button so let's hold down the alt key on a pc hold down the alt key that means excel will snap the button to the grid which will make everything line up nicely so i'm holding down the alt key and then left mouse button and you can see Excel has snapped the button to the grid, released the left mouse button, and we can see that the spin button is there. So we're almost ready to go, but just a word at this point. Um, a spin button that is very small is difficult to operate. For example, I'm just gonna shrink this spin button a bit. If the spin button was that big, uh, for example, that's not really useful uh, to the user. I'd have to make a very precise mouse movement to be able to use this spin button. So that's not really useful. So you do have to have a reasonable row height in order to use a spin button. I find that a row height of 20 um, is really a minimum for the spin button uh, to, be, to be usable. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, make sure the row height is of uh, sufficiently high uh, in order to accommodate the spin button. So I'm just going to hit Control Z, uh, undo what I did, and the spin button is there. It's a reasonable size. So we've got our spin button. Now we want to make the spin button do something. And we do that by connecting the spin button to a cell. So just right click on the spin button, right click, and then go to Format Control. And then we have this nice dialog box. And we've got various controls um, that we can apply to the spin button here. Not all of these controls are gonna be relevant to you, but one certainly is, which is right at the bottom. It's the cell link. So here Excel is saying, which cell do you want me to change when you click the spin button? And in our example, uh, we want to, the uh, column D, we want the value in column D to change and this is cell D4, so I can click on this symbol here, and then just click on whichever cell uh, I want to link to the spin button. We can see D4 has appeared in the dialog box there. Just hit return, and we can see uh, the cell link is there. Now you can have a look at these other values as well. You can achieve a kind of data validation uh, effect here. You can set a minimum and maximum value, if that's relevant to you. 
uh, and you can adjust the incremental change and that means uh, by which value, by what value will the, will the cell increase when you spin on the button. The default value is 1, that means the value will just keep going up by 1, but you could have 2, 3, 5, whatever value works for you there. So you've got some nice options there to get the spin button doing exactly what you want it to do. But for the purposes of our example, this would appear uh, to do the job, so I'm just going to hit OK. And then let's try the spin button. There we go, just clicking through it, very easy. And that's doing the job. I can go up and down. And clearly that's a really nice efficiency improvement, much easier than having to click in the cell and manually uh, input the data there. So that's as far as we're going to go in this video. That's how to create a simple spin button to get really fast data entry into your spreadsheets. And maybe that's as far as you want to go with this. If you've only got a few rows, you could very easily manually create those spin buttons. But uh, I hope you'll be interested in the next video. In the next video, we're gonna look at the scenario where you've got lots of rows. In this scenario, we've got 10 or so rows. And even just with 10 rows, it would be quite onerous to have to manually create 10 spin buttons. So in the next video, we're going to look at how to use code, how to use VBA to speed up that button creation process so that we can instantly generate all of the buttons we need and make all of those buttons point to the right cell. So it's a bit of a coding challenge, but even if you've never done coding before, I'd recommend having a look at the video. It might be a really good way to get started with VBA. So that's a basic spin button, but I hope to see you in the next video.